Hello everyone. Today we have with us Dr. Gayatri from Madras Medical College, who secured All India Rank 568 in the recently conducted NEET PG 2024 examination. And hearty congratulations, Gayatri. Hearty congratulations to your parents and family members too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And the icing on the cake is she is from 2018 batch and she had taken um, ADI Plexus course for very short span of almost two and a half, three months. And like she was able to get the track with the preparation in addition to the resources. So Gayatri, uh, how did you feel once? What is your first response when you saw the rank? My first response was that it was unbelievable, sir. I had to cross check my roll number in order to confirm that I had got such a good rank. Uh, I had worked very hard those last two months, but I didn't expect such a good rank in my first meet attempt. I'm extremely happy about my rank. Fantastic, that is. So there could be many factors which might have contributed to your success. But if I ask you to pick up, like, um, so top three, what, which one you suggest, like, which one you pick up, uh, Gayatri? Uh, first would be that I have been consistently working since first year, sir. Even if they have not been oriented towards PG preparation, I have uh, contributed decently good efforts for every university exam. That would be one, I think. Uh, second would be having a study partner, uh, like really help me throughout my two months of really hectic preparation. So that would keep you motivated as well as your scheduling, it will help, sir. Fantastic. A uh, third would probably be revision. Revise, 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 the same thing over and over again. So how many revisions like you, uh, you have done or like how many MCQs you use to attempt every day? Uh, I think uh, maybe 50, 60 MCQs should be much for every single day, sir. Okay. But on some days when you have finished your uh, like once reading and then you have entered into your uh, phase where you have to do more questions, I think entire day can be spent on doing questions. Fantastic. In ADR Plexus, what are the things which you like the most, I think? Uh, I like the fact that we spend a lot of hours learning without the effort that you have to put when you're alone at home, sir. We spend a lot of hours learning from the a very experienced faculty and we know how how the classes go on with our uh, peers so how the competition is how many people are preparing just like us i think that uh, really helps us keep motivated for studying every single day so great and when you attend the leaderboards like uh, how do you feel about the leaderboards competing real time against your competitors or like your friends yes sir the leaderboards are extremely actually very exciting to attend the leaderboards because you you see how how easily you can miss the top 50 ranks by just like one mistake and it helps us to uh, attend the questions faster i think that is the plus uh, with the leaderboard because the faster you answer the better ranks you get so in the and, need and to actually like, the, like correct in the examination in fact like picking up not just the keyword correctly but like picking up faster is very important and that you, you will you learn that uh, soon with the leaderboard Okay, then how, what is your opinion about ADI Plexus workbooks and how it helped you for the revision? I think workbooks are nice, sir. Uh, they have pictures and you have space to write down what you need to remember. Some things you write down as notes, some things you can highlight so that you, you can have a quick revision in the later phase of your uh, preparation. So I think the workbooks would be a great tool for this. Nice, Gayatri. So, I mean, your happiness is clearly evident on your face and it's a dream for anyone like to immediately like within a short span after their uh, internship to uh, clear the examination. And uh, for your colleagues and for your juniors like uh, who are aspiring to be um, getting the rank similar to you. So what are your piece of advice? Uh, first, is you can start at any time. Like there is no, there's never, it's never too late to start. That is the first point. If you've already wasted some months, it's all right. Just start now. I think that would be the first advice I would like to give myself, give my younger self a paper. Uh, secondly, it's a very important to know what topics you should concentrate on. Like there are some previous year topics which are frequently repeated. So those golden topics you should pick up from every subject and you must concentrate that you should never get it wrong, no matter how twisted that question is. And the most important thing is giving questions. Practicing questions over and over again will not just help you revise, but uh, also to rule out the options when you are faced with a question you have not even read about. It. So that knack of practicing questions is very important. And giving GTs every week, sir. I gave GTs every week during my last phase and that definitely helped. Even if you get a low score, don't get demotivated. Just keep giving GTs until your mark slowly improves as you complete more than the stages. 
fantastic i think it's all about like as you rightly said like doing as many number of mcqs and grant tests because it's not just about having the knowledge but applying that knowledge and knowing um, finding out like where exactly we are making the mistakes and learning from those mistakes is the key uh, once again and thanks for your um, advice for all you. and once again hearty congratulations gayatri and uh, which specialty you want to take so i'm actually uh, thinking of pursuing a career in medicine or pediatrics sir okay fantastic all the very best gayatri and congratulations thank once again you. to your parents and family members also and keep yes, going thank you sir